I met Bob when I first moved to town and we were in the Levinson JCs together. That's how we first met. Uh, that's 40 plus years ago and Bob back then was maybe 140 pounds and had most of his hair. And working with him for all the years I've worked with him, I truly believe he is honest to the core. I consider myself lucky to be a friend of his, but we're really lucky to have somebody that's so involved, knows so many people, and, and uh, can hang things together like he does. The first thing you'll do is on the, the second Saturday of March, you'll see Bob standing in the back of a pickup truck starting the lake stride. And then you'll see Bob downtown helping with uh, Friday Night Lives, or you'll see Bob uh, helping with uh, events that involve all of the community. He'll be walking with his family downtown, he'll be walking with his grandkids. Um, if you don't know who Bob is, you'll learn very fast who Bob is. And you'll recognize that he is a person who is committed to our community. Bob really is a pretty good golfer uh, most of the time. But his score is just one aspect of what he does. The most important thing for Bob is if he can find 15 or 20 balls on his, on his brown. And then what he does is picks two or three balls, puts them in his bag, and gives the rest to some little kid that's there. And I guess that's typical the way Bob is. It doesn't matter how much money you can give. It doesn't matter how much people you can bring in to be donors. It doesn't matter how much uh, time you spend. It's just having Bob himself. It's, it's what you get. And none of the other is possible without Bob himself. So I would say, Bob's biggest asset is Bob himself. He basically puts service to his community above, you know, his own self-interest. And, that, and that's why I think of Bob, and I think why he's deserving of the award. Well, they say that uh, sometimes they don't make them like this anymore. Bob Budrow is one guy that they don't make them like this anymore. And truly, uh, Bob has a saying, and it's kind of something that I live my life by. And he says, if it benefits the greater good of our community, he's on board. And so as I've got to know Bob better over the last several years on the foundation board, I now understand that statement today more than ever. He's got a really quick wit and a caring heart. He's a great community guy. And, and I guess I would say that everything that, um, everything that you know, the committee knows about him for giving this, this reward, there's hundreds of things you don't know. And he's just that solid for the community. We need more people like Bob Budrow. We need more people willing to step up to the plate. We need more people willing to uh, have the characteristics of Bob Budrow. We need more people to, to, you know, everybody wanted to be like Mike Jordan, right? Well, everybody should be like Bob Budrow because Bob Budrow is here simply for the greater good of our community. And I said that earlier, but it's truly the, the bottom line is that if, if we had more people like Bob Budrow, our foundation is stronger, our community is stronger and that's a number one. I don't know of anyone who deserves the award more than he does. He's just put so much time and effort not only in the hospital but into the community and this award is just simply him. Congratulations on winning the award. I think that you're well deserving. You put a lot of time and effort into it and it's nice to have recognition for your contributions to the community. Uh, well I just like to say congratulations and, and I can't think of anybody more deserving of this award than than him. I just want to say congratulations, Bob. You have definitely proved that the, the Justice of Paulina Stearns Award goes to somebody who devotes themselves to this foundation, this hospital, our community, and who better than Bob Budrow after all of the things that he's accomplished in his career, in his foundation career. Top-notch guy. He's the guy. It was a hands-down, uh, unanimous decision, easy decision. So congratulations, Bob.